In this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up image planes and size them for your project in Plasticity. So when we open up Plasticity, we get our default scene. We're going to delete the cube. And we want to pick the axis that we want to add our image plane to. In this case, I'm going to use Y. And another thing that would be good is to have your unit set to whatever it is that you want. In this case, I'm using inches. So now what we want to do is we want to grab our image plane. We want to drag it into the viewport and let go. And then it will actually put the image into our viewport. Now that we have the image into our viewport, we want to figure out, like in this case, let's say I wanted to model this gun. So one of the things that I want to do is I want to kind of set this up so that I can scale it. So if I hit G and then your cursor will show up in the center. I don't really want it there. I want it on the gun so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to hit V as in Victor. I'm going to pull this up, turn off grid snapping. I'm going to pull this up. And what I want to do is I want to kind of get this somewhere in the center of the gun. So let's just say there for right now. So now what I can do is I can actually move this. And I can also have it snap to the grid. So what I want to do is I want to put the very front of the gun right there on my zero line. In this case, anyway, you can put it wherever you want. So I'm gonna move this so that it's pretty much right on there. Now that we've done that, what we can do is we can throw down a line. In this case, I want it to be say 10 inches. So now I set my line to 10 inches long. Now the key is going to be that I want to scale this to match that line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to select my image plane. I'm going to hit S for scale. I'm going to hit V as in Victor, and I'm going to place that right at that center point at the beginning of this. So now what's going to happen is when I scale this, it's going to scale the whole thing along that line. And you can see here that the end is down here, so I want to keep scaling. And what I want to do is get it close. So in this case, it got really close, but we're still off by a little bit. So looking down here, we're at 6.632. Let's try 6.65. That's too far. Six, five. There we go. So now we have our gun scale, our image scale for the gun. And you can see that this is a good way to get your scale appropriate. And then when you're modeling, you just want to make sure that all your measurements add up to that 10 inches and you should be good to go. You can always come back and adjust the image a little bit if you need to. But essentially, this is the best way that I have found. I'm sure there's others, but this is the best way that I found to get something in there image plane wise, scale it and set it so that it works the way you need it to work. And then the only other thing that you're going to want to do is obviously you're going to want to move this back so that it's out of your way when you're modeling. So you can move that back however far you need to. And then don't forget that you also have the ability to lock it so that you're not selecting that view plane while you're working. And then the only other thing that I would do is grab my line and delete it. And then you're ready to go. Thanks for watching, and if this video helped you, please hit the like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And if you know any better ways to do it, then please leave a comment. I appreciate it, and have a good day. Thanks.